Hello everybody. Um, I have an updated review for you guys with the new Scorpal or newer whatever. This has been out for months and months now, maybe a year. I don't even know. I've had this for almost six months and the previous video I'd filmed to upload with the review was crap. So I'm redoing it now um, to show you guys. So just stay tuned through the video because there is a giveaway at the end. Um, anyway, this was sent to me by um, Diana, the owner of Scorpal. They'd seen my previous video and sent me the new one to compare. So I'm just going to do that. Um, compared to the old Scorpal, um, the new one, color obviously is different. And then there's like more than twice as many score lines on this one. There is a score line every quarter inch as well as every eighth of an inch for the first and last inches plus your extra ones for different projects which are marked um, by these symbols and I'll get to that in a minute. Whereas the old one there was only score lines every half an inch plus the few random extra ones. Um, same as the old one the score tool is the exact same and it's held by the little clasp there just like it was in the old one which is one of my absolute favorite features of this plus this tool. Absolutely love it. Um, I prefer it to a bone folder. I have a bone folder somewhere around here I think. Oh yeah. I have the old like my old Stampin' Up! like actual like this is real bone so I'm sure some people aren't too pleased with that but I don't like using a bone folder. I find it leaves like a mark on cardstocks. Um, like if you go and take it and use the actual bone folder um, to press the cardstock I'll find it'll leave like almost a sheen. It's really weird. I don't like that so that's why I never use um, my actual bone folder. I always use this and it's always handy so because it's right there. Um, anyway um, the other thing is just like the score buddy the new score pals have the magnet built right under um, the score pal website so that anything like your brads and whatnot and even if you're using little dies like they will stick to the magnets so you're not losing some of your small pieces so that's great and then um, the raised numbers and notches along the top are now um, painted darker as opposed to the previous one and then they've also marked the center score line at the bottom just so you know if you've got a full sheet of cardstock you'll know exactly where from the top and bottom that six inch mark is so just like so um, yeah I mentioned earlier the different little symbols that are along the top those are meant for visual guidelines for making the envelopes and whatnot like they refer to the different symbols as well as I'm pretty sure the two pointed arrows are for a brochure folding if you've got an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper that is the two score lines you would use to fold your brochure um, again everything is in the envelope instructions and then also on the back of the package when you get the score pal it lists it shows how to use it and stuff it's it's not rocket science it's scoring but yeah um, so yeah that's basically the biggest differences between the old one and the new one and personally if you've got the old one and like it um, unless you know if you wanted just to sell it off or give it to a friend or something and then get yourself the new one for me personally I love my score buddy way more than my score pal um, just because it's smaller and I'm an A2 you know standard card maker I I rarely and I should try some more fancy fold cards like gate fold cards and whatnot I just don't so I use my score buddy all the time plus it just I can set it on the corner of my desk it doesn't take up very much space um, so yeah I love my score buddy and I've got the little mat on it too which technically I don't really need because again I keep it off to the side and I use my big um, stamping up mat for stamping and whatnot but um yeah the score pal though if you don't have anything it just depends on your preferences for crafting and whatnot um, the score pal is great you can get um, the score pal mat it's sold separately and it fits right in there so that you can use that as your crafting service like you can stamp on it cut on it do whatever and then when it's time to score your project you can just pull it out of the way score it and you're good to go um, the mat is great I have used this um, 
as my desk surface for, well, with the old one, obviously, for a good couple of years, I think. Um, like, I've got paint all over the back of it. Um, this thing is awesome, and I love that it's got the lip on either side so that the mat doesn't slip and slide when you're crafting. Like, it just stays in place, and then you just lift it out when you're ready to score anything. Um, compared to the Martha Stewart scoring board, which I had shown in my previous video, I still prefer the ScorePal. I just, I tried to use this because, you know, it's so much cheaper and it was a great alternative and whatnot because this is, the Martha Stewart one is about $20 US, ScorePal is about $40 US, um, the Score Buddy is $20 US, and then the mats are separate. So, um, this is technically a good alternative, but personally, I don't like it at all. I didn't use it after I did that last video. I tried. Um, I had already talked about how I found the score tool is flimsy. Um, and because it's so thin, it tears cardstock. Um, and people had sent me suggestions about how I could glue um, popsicle sticks to this and different things to kind of make it more sturdy which honestly I'm not going to do that. I just find that annoying. Um, this is just very uncomfortable. I don't like it. Plus um, because this is so narrow and because I found the guides are so narrow it was skipping. Like I tried using it I would take I did a few different cards where I would you know lay the card so I can do like diagonal like scored lines and whatnot. Um, but I found because these score lines are so there's so many of them. Like, there's one every eighth of an inch. Yeah, there's a score line every eighth of an inch. And I found because there was that many, um, as I was scoring, I would skip channels because the cardstock I score is heavier weight, and this just does not cut it. Um, I will note, though, that I've seen people use a um, embossing stylus for scoring. Usually, again, you have to use a narrow one because if you use anything that's too thick, such as the, like this one will not will barely work. You'd have to be really careful and go really slow. Um, the score buddy one, sorry, brain stopped. So you could use an embossing stylus, but again, I've tried it and you have to kind of go back and forth several times over your cardstock to get a good score line and I'm not gonna waste that kind of time. Um, yeah, I, I really don't like this. I know some people really do, and again, personal preference. If it's worked great for you, that's awesome. Um, my main reason I'd originally got it was because it comes with that piece here for making envelopes, which this is a great little unit. I wish the score pal had something like that, you know, because it's just, it's perfect, and it gives you kind of a few more options for scoring envelopes, making it a little bit simpler because it gives you that diagonal straight edge. So price-wise, the Martha Stewart board has um, kind of a bit of an edge. And then with this little envelope tool, it's quite a nifty thing. Plus, yes, if they carry it at Michael's and you can use a coupon to get it. And I can't remember if I used a coupon or not. So the price isn't bad. But personally, I much prefer the score pal. I rarely skip um, the track when I'm scoring. Um, that was the big thing as well, because now the new one, it only has every quarter of an inch instead of every eighth of an inch like this, but I actually prefer it that way. Um, the chances of skipping the track are a lot less. And if you've ever done it, you know what I'm talking about, because it does actually ruin. Like, you can try pressing it out, but you've marred the cardstock. And if you're trying to make a nice card for someone you skip the track you have to start the card base over again or at least I do anyway but um yeah I really do like the newer version um but personally I still use and prefer my little score buddy I just I like him he's he comes in very very handy um so yeah I hope that kind of gives you guys an idea um if you're not, if you don't own any scoring tools whatsoever, um, I highly recommend either the Score Pal or Score Buddy, depending on you know what you're going for. Um, the Martha Stewart one, it is okay. I just I'm not a fan of the way these tracks are just they're narrower than 
the score pile tracks. I just, I don't like the tracks and I hate the scoring tool for this, but there's ways around that. Anywho, um, oh, and before I forget, the score pile comes with directions in, I think, English, French, and Spanish. Um, doodly doodly doo. So, and it's all your envelope instructions. So it lays out um, all the popular, like your card size, your finish size, and then your paper size that you need. And then it gives you directions on how to make all your envelopes. So it's all laid out there. Plus you can go to, I think they have it on the Scorpel website, they have a bunch of tutorials and whatnot showing you how to make different cards and an easy way to make envelopes and whatnot. So I am quite happy with um, my score pal and my old version and the Martha Stewart board I'm just going to either give it away to any friends that I have nearby that don't have one or I'm just going to sell them. Um, I'd like to give them away here but the shipping on something this size for me would be ridiculous so I'm not even going to go there. However, what I do have to give away is a brand new score buddy and the score pal mat for the score buddy. So um, this is open to anywhere in Canada and the US. Um, sorry I can't do this internationally right now but shipping like I said from Canada isn't cheap. Um, but yeah just leave a comment on my video. Make sure you're subscribed. The button is right above if you're not. And a week from today and I'll post because once I actually get this video live I will draw, I'll close the comments and draw a random name and you will receive a brand new score buddy and the score mat. So thanks so much for watching guys and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye!